Splunk Hadoop Connect delivers reliable integration between Splunk and Hadoop. It has three main features. First of all, it's the ability to export event collected in Splunk into Hadoop. The second one is the ability to browse directories and files in Hadoop. And the third option is to import and index data from Hadoop to Splunk for secure searching, reporting, analysis, and visualization. Looking at the homepage for Hadoop Connect, we see the recently scheduled experts, the recently indexed HDFS data by source, as well as the clusters, the Hadoop clusters that are available to us. We can, of course, click on the Add Cluster option, which will take us to uh, several options. The first one is to add Hadoop cluster like Cloudera distribution, Holtonworks, and Apache. Those are contacted via the uh, name node remotely, as well as if we have to connect to a secure cluster, we definitely have that option through the set security, ta uh, set security option. Uh, in addition to that, we have the locally mounted Hadoop button, and locally mounted Hadoop button applies to distribution like MAPR, IBM, Greenplum, Green Isilon. They are all get contacted via an NFS mount, and for that we need to do a locally mounted Hadoop. The next subtabs we're going to look at is the Build Expert subtab. In the Build Expert tab, we see the button called Schedule HDFS Export. The Schedule HDFS Export allows us to define what kind of events we want to send to Hadoop. For example, we can send the event or the results of the search in a raw format, in an XML format, JSON, CSV, or TSV. In addition, we can define which fields, using a comma separated, which fields we want to be part of that results, which cluster, which Hadoop cluster we want to send the results to, where would be the HDFS base path, or once we are in the base path in Hadoop, what are the separated uh, directories that we're going to put the data, let's say every day we're going to create a new directory and put the results in there, uh, the export frequency allows us to define how often we want to send the results to Hadoop, and the parallel search allows us to increase the capacity of the results to Hadoop. In the Explore subtab, we see the ability to drill down into Hadoop, view Hadoop directories, view Hadoop files, and we can drill down, and in any given point, once we feel that we want to uh, import data from Hadoop to Splunk, we can select the Add as Data Input link, and the Add as Data Input link actually takes into consideration the specific Hadoop directory, and any file that falls under that directory, any files that was added to this particular Hadoop directory will be imported and indexed by Splunk. Another two features of Hadoop Connect are the ability to read files from Hadoop by using the HDFS read command. In order for us to use the in order for us to see the HDFS read command, we navigate down to a specific file, select that file, and Splunk will execute the HDFS read command with the file that we just selected, and Splunk will read that file using the search head capability, as well as if we want to look at the directory as if we were doing it through the Explore sub tab, we can also change the read to LSR or 
ls, search for that, and Splunk enables us to look at this particular directory and, and all the files below this directory as if we were on the Hadoop command line itself. In addition to these options, we can also change the configuration of the Hadoop cluster, the Cobros principle, we can add principles, as well as if, for example, we want to change the size of the exported file to Hadoop from the default 63 megabytes to something like 127 megabytes or 128, we can change the those settings to the change export default. And the last subtab is the troubleshoot. And in the troubleshoot, we can look at the performance of Splunk export. For example, we can take a look at how long did it take Splunk to export the demo 123 or the demo 2012 uh, export jobs, as well as look at some performance characteristics. As we mentioned, Splunk puts the data into the disk, the local disk first before it moves it to Hadoop. So all this information is available through the troubleshoot section. To try Hadoop Connect, we go to Splunk Base. In Splunk Base search, we will look for the word Hadoop, which will bring us to the link to download Splunk Hadoop Connect, as well as two additional videos that can help us install Splunk with Hadoop, as well as connect Splunk to a secure Hadoop. Thank you.